Hey guys, X here, and hello! It's been a while, I know, it's been like three months, man, it's crazy. Um, so, first of all, Happy Thanksgiving, uh, Merry Christmas, and uh, Happy New Year. I believe that catches us up with all the days that I've missed up with YouTube. But basically, for the past three months, I have been building my computer. And this video, this whole entire video is just going to be me building my computer, and then I'm going to throw in some updates on my current project and just videos at the end of my... Uh, at the end of the video so if you want to stay for that just make sure you stick around after uh, I show you guys all the clips actually um, I'm gonna put some some uh, timestamps in the description below so if you want to just watch me assemble the PC or if you just want to watch me like show off the specs what I have inside of it uh, I'll put timestamps as well and if you're interested in uh, seeing about the like what's on my channel the content that I post even though I haven't posted in a while uh, I'm gonna give a little update on that at the end of the video so I'll also put a timestamp on that as well so anyway guys, this has been Xbox United X, and I'll see you later. Bye. Also guys, while you're watching this, just a little side note, uh, these videos were captured using my Galaxy S4, and they're a bit scatterbrained as I recorded them over the past three or four months, so just keep that in mind as you watch. And uh, as always guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later in the video. Bye. This is Xbox United X here, and oh my god, it's basically done. This is my PC. This is my PC, guys. This is my PC. I'm so excited. Uh, I got everything I need to build, build it and everything, but um, I don't have enough space in my phone to like record an entire video on it, so um, I'm just going to go ahead and give you a rundown of all the parts that I have. Now, the eagle-eyed viewers of my video might have went and said, Badger, where is your GPU? I don't have one yet because uh, I don't have uh, $320 to drop on a GTX 970 right now. That's eventually going to be what I'm going to buy and put in, but at least with all this other stuff, uh, I can install Windows, uh, download Steam, download some games, and game on it uh, just a little bit uh, before I go ahead and buy my expensive GPU and really kick it in high gear with this PC. So, just to kick it off first, uh, we'll give a little rundown of the parts. This is a Seagate uh, one terabyte hard drive. Uh, I got that off of, I think, Amazon? Most of the stuff you see, you got, I either got off of uh, Newegg, Amazon, or B&H. b, &H. b &H actually got the uh, my CPU off of, but um, we'll get that a bit later. Uh, I got the Z170 XP SLI board. Uh, that's compatible with the new Skylake core that I got here. This is a Intel 660K i5 core unlocked processor. Um, the reason why I waited to like build a PC is because I really wanted this processor. And uh, my motherboard actually comes with an M.2 slot for my solid state drive, which I'm eventually going to buy as well. So uh, I still have actually quite a bit to go, quite a bit to go with my PC. And um, as this is the only thing that comes in the box, it's literally only the CPU and some pieces of toilet paper. It doesn't come with a CPU cooler, like the stock one that normally comes with uh, Intel CPUs. It doesn't. So this is going to have to do. Um, I've actually gotten a lot of positive reviews on this. This is the Hyper 12, uh, Hyper 212 Evo by Cooler Master. Uh, it's a CPU cooler. Uh, it looks really cool on the inside. Um, some of these I did uh, unbox because I realized that I didn't have enough. Um, I didn't have any thermal paste, which I'm like, let's smack myself in the forehead for that. Uh, this actually has thermal paste as well as uh, some other. Guys, Xpadronetics here, and uh, I've just installed the RAM and the CPU on my Gigabyte uh, Z170 XP SLI motherboard from Gigabyte. Um, uh, just so you guys know, um, I actually didn't go over with my case. This is the Corsair 230T that I showed off in one of my uh, previous videos. Sorry about the shaky camera, just uh, let me go ahead and show you what's inside here. That's really it. Um, I'll get back to you guys as soon as um, I figure out what to do next. Um, so I'll see you then. Bye. I knew I'm probably not gonna, probably not gonna SLI anytime soon. Hey guys, Xpressionet X here, and <laughs> it is done. My PC is finally done. Oh my goodness. Okay, so one thing I should explain is. Um, okay, so like that between the last video clip that I showed you and this uh, editing video sort of thing. Uh, sequence that I have of me building my computer together is my thing, my motherboard, my case, or whatever it's supposed to include. Uh, it didn't come with a BIOS speaker. It didn't come with this thing right here. 
which is a problem because I couldn't diagnose issues. I couldn't get the computer to boot, and I think I actually have a video for you guys, which I'll play right about now, of me trying to get the computer to boot. So basically, it'll turn on for a couple seconds, and then it'll turn off. And I've narrowed it down to this RAM stick. This is the uh, DDR4 HyperX Fury by um, Kingston, I believe. And for some reason, the computer will not boot when it was standing up. Now, when I turn it on its side and then try and turn it on, I was able to get into the BIOS. I don't know why, but in the future, I can't just have my computer laying on the desk like this. That's not going to work. But in the future, I'm probably actually just going to go ahead and order another RAM stick after I make this video. Um, basically what happened is, I think I was trying to get this RAM stick into the slot, like, I probably used too much force and then just, like, broke off the proms. I'll, I'll show you, um, a little picture right about now about, uh, what the stick looks like. I don't think those curves are supposed to be there on the stick. But, uh, for whatever reason, it boots and posts whenever it's on its side. I don't know why, but it does it. So, this is the BIOS. Uh, by the way, this is the motherboard I got. The GA-Z170 XP SLI by Gigabyte. Uh, I got this because I have a Skylake uh, 6600K i5 core in there under the uh, CPU cooler by Cooler Master. This is the uh, Hyper 212 Evo. Uh, the reason why I have this and not just some stock Intel CPU or CPU cooler is because with this, this is all I got for my CPU core or CPU. It just comes with the core. That's really all it comes with. So, it didn't come with a stock CPU cooler, it didn't come with anything else, just that. It kind of sucks that I'd spend like $30, and I think it was like 40 after shipping, um, doing this thing with the Intel CPU. It kind of sucks. Uh, I probably should have bought a water cooler in hindsight, because of, um... I want to squeeze some extra things out of this. I can probably, with this CPU cooler, I could probably just squeeze out 4 gigabyte or 4 uh, gigahertz a second. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and configure my BIOS real quick. Uh, okay, so system language is English, system date, system time, access level administrator, BIOS features. Uh, boot action priorities. I'm gonna send features, otherwise... We're stuck. Peripherals. PCIe. Yeah, I'll be right back, guys. There's exposure genetics here, and the reason is... The reason why I'm being so quiet is because it's like, it's 11.30 at night, so, um, I'm just installing Windows 10 right now, um, I don't know if I did this right, but I went ahead and redeemed my, uh, my, uh, Windows key, my Windows serial code, or whatever it is that, um, came in the email, and, um, I'm not exactly sure I was supposed to do that yet, so, um, whatever key I used before, I, I accidentally hit the, the regular option to install Windows up here, uh, I meant to click the bottom one, which would install it normally, but hopefully I didn't screw anything up, um, otherwise I'm going to shove, I'm going to put down another $99 for another copy of Windows, if that's a thing, and I don't know, but, um, yeah, that's really all it, um, I'm just going to sit here, um, until this is done, um, apparently my computer is going to reboot a couple times, uh, while Windows is being installed, so I'm going to go ahead and just cut the video, and I will be right back. Happening! It's happening! Oh! Okay, so um, I had to re-enter my product key. I was not completely screwed over. It's probably because this, this computer isn't hooked up to the internet, um, which I will fix in just a moment if I can find that one stick I was going to use. But um, it's booting. It's working. It's good. Uh, although I'm going to have to fix the horizontal uh, PC problem. <gasps> okay. Who's going to use this PC? Uh, we'll call it Brendan. I get secure. Uh, no password. I'm only going to be the only guy using this computer, so no password needed. Hi. <laughs> Hello, Windows. How are you doing? We're setting things up. Oh, th how, how nice of you. Thank you. 
this won't take <laughs> this won't take long. I've been sitting here for like how long? Another I've been sitting here for hours trying to get this this thing to work. I didn't even need to touch the BIOS or anything because I only have one hard drive, a uh, terabyte hard drive, no SSDs or anything just yet. I'll configure those when the time comes. But I'm super excited about this because um for once, um I don't have to share a laptop with my little brother whenever he wants to go play like Team Fortress or whatever. Um this is great. Um, um, the next two parts I'm probably going to buy is a replacement stick for my RAM because, um, as I've explained earlier, um, the reason why I have my PC lying down like this is because if I try to stand it up, like vertically, like against this wall here or wherever else, just vertically, it doesn't want to boot. It turns on for a couple seconds and then it turns off. Um, I think it's an issue with the RAM and how um, I seated it. I have some DDR4 uh, HyperX Fury RAM somewhere in there where my finger is. Um, so for, for whatever reason I need to lay the, the PC like this in order for me to post and boot my computer. So I need to go ahead and either um, replace that. I, yeah, that's the only option I think actually because everything else seems to be working fine. The motherboard's fine. I mean, hell, we, gotta, we even got it to boot. And whenever I was trying to like get this thing to like boot up and stuff, it wouldn't work. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna run out of phone memory. Um, I will be right back. Guys, 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 guys! It's the desktop. It's the desktop. Oh, yes. oh my god! This is amazing. Okay, so um, I'm gonna go find that Wi-Fi card really quick, and then I'm gonna go plug it into the USB ports in the back of my PC. I'll be right back. And it's done. <laughs> it's done. My PC is done. My computer is done. Finally. Uh, Merry Christmas. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Holidays. And most of all, Happy New Year. I've missed you all very, very much. But this is what I've been doing for the past couple of months. Uh, my laptop is fine. It's perfectly fine. Although I did give it to my brother once I built my computer and stuff. But um, I wanted to just go ahead and pump out better content. And I also want to get into PC gaming. So uh, I just wanted to go. I went ahead and just. Uh, built this so I'm just gonna do a little video a little update video just go over my, uh, my PC my rig and just my channel in general hopefully under five minutes Putting up before we get into the power supply the graphics card and the motherboard I just want to point out these two things right here this is a CPU cooler and this is the uh, CPU I used for my build uh, starting off with the CPU I got the core i5 unlocked uh, new Skylake processor the i5 6600k um, I got this mostly because uh, I knew I won't be able to get a graphics card, so I figured I could game on uh, the Intel HD 530 graphics, which I could actually. I could play TF games like TF2, Dota, CSGO, some old games um, that could actually run really well on the new uh, Intel HD integrated uh, graphics on, on just the processor alone. So I could get like 60, 70 FPS in Counter Strike and TF2, most of the games. Those games are really like all I played. Uh, I could actually play Swoter on my uh, Star Wars: The Old Republic on on these graphics, uh, actually kind of well. Um, Swoter is actually a pretty graphic, graphically intensive game, so I can get away with like medium to uh, sometimes medium to high settings. But I had to turn shadows off because my God. But anyway, this processor is very good for what's coming out right now. Um, also, one thing I should know why I got this instead of like um, just going with a stock CPU cooler. Uh, the unlock processors, I think, from Intel, the Skylake ones, they do not come with a stock CPU cooler, which is kind of a bummer, because I didn't really plan on doing any overclocking. But anyway, I had to get this thing, I picked this up for about, um, I think, I think it was like 30, 40 bucks off of, uh, b &H, I think, and I picked up the, uh, Core i5 off of b &H as well, or it might have been Newegg, I don't know. But, uh, I got this for, I think, 240 or 230 and now it's like 260 or something so thank god I bought it when I bought it um, but anyway um, one of the cool things that I found out about this I can get away with 20% overclock with um, just these two because Skylake doesn't run that hot anyways which is awesome and the Hyper 212 Evo is a direct contact um, uh, CPU cooler so I can get away with 20% overclock in my CPU without any like temps going above like 40 degrees celsius which is pretty awesome so let's move on to the power supply the motherboard and the graphics card see you guys in a bit moving on to the power supply and the motherboard and the graphics card hopefully so here's what we got 
We got the EVGA uh, Supernova 550G2, rated at 80 plus gold efficiency. Uh, I picked this up for, I want to say, uh, 60 or $70 off of NCIX, I think. Uh, I, was, I was originally going to go with maybe a 600 watt power supply, but beans though, I don't really plan on like uh, doing anything with SLI really anytime soon because of how, gra how expensive the graphics cards are for both AMD and NVIDIA and the one I was actually planning on getting. I didn't really feel the need to upgrade to that and um, the 600 watt power supply that um, the Radeon uh, R9 through 90 here, which is actually what I have in my PC, is complete crap. You can get um, you can get a power supply that, that has like a 450 watt power supply and you can still uh, run AMD cards which are generally um, uh, power hogs for your uh, PSU. And it also came with this cool little carry pouch which had all the cables and junk in it. I use these to store the the, the screws and stuff that came with my uh, my uh, case and my uh, Cooler Master uh, Evo cooler. Got a bunch of cases in here. You got a Gigabyte uh, SLI thing. It also comes with um, an NVIDIA SLI cable if in case you want to SLI two cards. But um, didn't, unfortunately, it didn't come with anything for AMD. I don't even I don't even think AMD really requires you to have uh, two a cable like that. But I'm not sure. But anyway, uh, moving on to the motherboard, we have the Z170 XP SLI. Um, basically, the main features of this motherboard, I'm going to gloss this over really quickly, is that um, it comes with all of this uh, DVI VGA cable, uh, PS2 for keyboard and mouse, I think. Uh, two, let's see, uh, two uh, for. Uh, six six USB ports on the back. It also comes with USB Type C, which you can see right there. <laughs> um, uh, an Ethernet cable. Uh, one of the things that um, I should have really looked for for a motherboard that supports my CPU and DDR4 memory, which also this case hat or this not this case, but um, the motherboard has, um, would be a Wi-Fi card because I didn't have any, so I just had to pick up a little little PCI Express one from um, Newegg, which was like. I think $20, but we'll get to that in a second. So it comes with all this cool stuff. And yeah, also uh, DDR4 memory. I'll get to that in a moment once we get actually inside the case. This is what comes with it. And uh, one thing that's not exactly listed here on the motherboard is that it comes with, or the, the box itself, but the motherboard has an M.2 slot, which is really cool. Um, I actually... Uh, really, really want an M.2 slot. I'm thinking of getting the Samsung SM951 Pro. Uh, maybe the maybe the 512 gig one. Although I might get a SATA 3 one in the future. I don't know. Um, probably for my birthday, which will be coming soon. But anyway, let's move on to the graphics card. I just got this for Christmas. So I'm so excited. Um, for me, I didn't really care whether it was Nvidia or AMD. It was just whichever one I found the best deal on. So. Um, of course, after I buy the R9 390, um, I saw an AMD graphics card or um, a GTX 970 on sale for, um, I think it was like, um, shit, what was it? It was like 250 I think, for a short time. And I literally just ordered this for like uh, 320 or 310 But anyway, this is a WinForce uh, Radeon R9 390. Um, it has 8 gigs of GDDR5 GDD RAM, so that means 8 gigs of VRAM for all your glorious Skyrim texture modding and stuff like that. Um, uh, I originally was actually going to go with NVIDIA, but um, I think the, the 8 gigs of um, VRAM kind of appealed to me, and I also picked up the WinForce because I knew um, Andy graphics cards uh, run hot, so I figured, eh, why not, might as well um, get some extra cooling in there in case I do want to overclock my graphics card in the future. So, there's that. And without further ado, let's go ahead and move on to the case. I'll show you everything that's put together and assembled. Also, the hard drive and everything else in there. Be right back. This is what everything looks like in my PC. It looks freaking awesome. And uh, I've been told on Reddit and everything that um, my, uh, my cable management is pretty awesome. I think it looks pretty shit, but um, I'll fix that a bit later, as everyone always says when they try to do cable management. So, um, anyway, uh, just a few bits I forgot. Uh, we got one stick of DDR4 memory. Uh, HyperX Fury Kingston RAM right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. There you can. Alright, um, and then we have just a little PCI Express Wi-Fi card. I don't know the specifications of it, although I do know it's, um, I think it's by Netgear. It's dual band. I'll look up the little, um, the code for it on the, the bottom. I have to pull that shit out and anything. But, um, 
Anyway, moving on, we have a one terabyte of uh, Seagate, uh, all of our Seagate hard drive here, and it's pretty awesome. I mean, it's a hard drive. What do you expect? Um, it reads. I think the disk speed is somewhere around like 7,200, something like that. It's a good hard drive. I mean, I didn't really need anything special, just storage. And I think a terabyte is a terabyte's pretty standard at the moment. So until I get a solid state drive, whether it be just a regular um, two and a half inch uh, solid state drive that I could just put in here, or an M.2 solid state drive, which I could just slide right under the CPU cooler right there. Um, I could do that a bit later. But anyway, uh, before I actually go ahead and boot the case, or boot the PC, <laughs> boot the case, um, I just want to show you what case I have, because I'm, I'm sure you guys have many questions about that. Um, this is the Corsair 230T. Uh, this is a black edition. And it has uh, three 120 millimeter fans. It has one right here, uh, and two in the front here. Which these actually, when the, when the case turns on, something special happens. Spoiler alert, it's LED lighting. But anyway, um, and the hard drive case also has um, just like a little... It's not like you can take out the hard drive case and anything. You just pull it out. You slide it in along the back. It's pretty nice. Um, I don't really like cases that have that really require you to like yank out the hard drive di the hard drive bay and just slide it back in and screw it in. Um, so yeah. And it also comes with a little side panel. Hold on. Oh, side window here. This is this is not glass. This is plastic, by the way. Um, also, when I peeled off the little plastic, it causes a little static. So be aware of that. Don't pull it off when you when you boot up your PC for the first time because it will cause issues. Static electricity sucks. But anyway. Um, oh, and one other thing I wanted to include is that the motherboard or whatever is supposed to include uh, this BIOS speaker here it did not come with it. So, um, if you are looking to buy this case, um, and all these parts here, I'm not sure if uh, the case was supposed to include the BIOS speaker, the motherboard, or the power supply, or <laughs> what, what the hell ever, but um, I could not figure out for the life of me what the problem with my, for my computer was. Like, it would turn on for a couple seconds. Later, I figured out it was the RAM. And funny story about the RAM is that um, I got shipped a defective stick of 8 gigs of uh, the same stick of RAM that I have in here. So I had to go ahead and put down another $50 for another one because I got shipped defective sticks. So that was fun. And um, also something else funny happened uh, with the RAM and my computer, so uh, I'll give, I'll tell you guys a bit later about that in the video. But we're just gonna go ahead and just boot the computer, see what it looks like. Mm. Can you hear them? Can you hear the angels? Can you, there they are. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Now you can see the color scheme is a bit off. Um, um, I wasn't actually planning to get the Win Force. I was actually going to get um, an MSI um, R9 through 90 or GTX uh, 970 that matched um, the color scheme in my case. I didn't know that was going to be blue. Although it does look kind of cool with the red. You got to admit, um, black looks good on anything. And I also like how um, EVGA gave me these black colored cables instead of just like the multicolored ones you see in some um, other ones like that. So uh, everything is on, it works now, it's great. Um, the little surprise here is that uh, the front fans are red LED lights, and as I said, they're both 120 millimeter, I believe. Although I don't think you can take these out. I mean, I don't understand why you would, unless you want to go ahead and replace them with 140 millimeter fans, which is also pretty cool. But uh, yeah, and also uh, these these aren't porous, which makes me sad. These are reserved for your um, your CD drive, stuff like that. Uh, if you want to stick another hard drive bay up here, you knock yourself out. But I'm actually thinking of getting a drill and just drilling these out so I could just get some more airflow. And the case, does sound really loud? It's not like that. I just went ahead and just turned up the fans a bit. Uh, because, um, just better cooling, and so I can get away with all the overclocks that I have in my CPU and... I did do a slight overclock on my uh, graphics card. Hey guys, Expression of X here, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And it's update time now, so let's get started. So basically, uh, the two projects that I have posted, I'm um, a Mass Effect Let's Play uh, with the Dice Shep on Insanity, um, and the XCOM project that I'm currently running, um, me playing the game blind. Um, you know, what, let's talk about um, let's talk about Mass Effect first because. Uh, I now have the ability to record in 1080p at 60fps on this new computer using OBS because OBS is a free uh, stuff is awesome like that. 
and it's great. Um, I can now do that, and I install the HD textures, so the, it's just going to look fantastic. So what I was thinking is I could start over the Let's Play. I haven't really made any major decisions yet in the Let's Play. Um, I could just start over, really. Uh, nothing majorly plot changing has happened in my Let's Play Mass Effect yet, if I recall correctly. But that's really, really it as far as that goes. I kind of want to start over, move the move it to PC, and record it at 1080p and 60 FPS. I think I think that would be pretty cool for um for the YouTube channel if I could just move that to the uh, Let's Play, which I'm sure you guys won't have any issues with probably. Although I might have to. I'm just gonna re-roll the character again, make him awesome. Make him look really weird. Who knows? Who knows? We might get a male ship this time. Although fem ship is clearly the best ship, guys. I mean, like, come on. All right. So XCOM. Um, again, I kind of want to move it to PC, but um, here's the thing. Uh, I kind of beat XCOM. Not on the save that I use for YouTube, though. Not on the save I use for YouTube. Um, I did go ahead and beat the game. I beat it over a weekend. I was like, eh, one more turn. I'm not that far ahead. Okay, now I'm slightly ahead. Okay, now I just beat the game. Stuff like that. So basically, um, I now have the ability to go ahead and either do a classic Let's Play of XCOM or an impossible Let's Play of XCOM. With, I could do Iron Man, I could do all this other cool stuff, or I could maybe try the Lung War mod out, which I've done and I lost within an hour. Uh, <laughs> um, so I could do that. I could do anything that I really want on, on my PC at the moment, but it's up to you guys. I might just go ahead and just reboot all of my, uh, Let's Play projects, um, you know, just for you guys, so you can experience the glorious 1080p 60 FPS quality on YouTube. And that was my phone. Um, which also signifies the end of the video, guys. Um, thank you for watching, first of all. And uh, make sure you guys stay tuned for more uh, content. And I'll see you guys later. Expatronite X out.